my sale. So there's been a lot more downloads overnight about what's going on. <clears throat> this is kind of like solar eclipse survival technique. So I look at things actually I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go to the word tradition because that's been coming in my head a lot as I've been heading down here. This is new age, this is new learning. Everything changes in 2020. Whee! So, and I keep hearing tradition, tradition. You've got to avoid nostalgia during this Christmas period. And I don't know how you do that because Christmas is all about tradition. But here's the thing. Christmas is based on the winter solstice. The sun dies and then its position in the sky goes stationary. And then three days later it moves, it's reborn and the people then know that there's going to be a new year coming. So this year, most beautifully, the, the 22nd is the midpoint of the actual winter solstice. And this year, three days later, we genuinely get an eclipse and the sun is reborn. So this really is magical times. So you've got to avoid, I'm rolling my hands because I'm so excited about this. You've got to avoid nostalgia, whether that means finding new music to listen to, whether it means eating new foods. <clears throat> I've got this really strong energy in the throat because the truth is this is what we need to talk about. At the moment, Mercury with the planet formation, and bear in mind, I'm going to pop an image of this on Facebook of how I read the planets because again, new age thinking, we've got to change the way we see things. So, the sun and the earth are in front of each other. They're building with the moon coming round to cause the eclipse, okay? Now, just here, just behind the sun, almost being scorched and burned by it is Mercury, okay? Now, bearing in mind what I said yesterday, that this is all about resetting our space in the sacral to pull down our energy properly, this little thing up here, this mercury of the throat, is burning, it's on fire, and it's bringing up disgust in people. Anger, fury, all these really bad energies. And yesterday, oh my goodness, the anger, the controlling nature of people I came into. Don't get me wrong, I was angry myself but it's trying to keep a lid on it, trying to soothe. So the sacral now, for me, has chilled. It's beginning to relax. I'm beginning to pull my phoenix energy, that golden energy, up from the ground and out through my solar plexus, but cleansing the sacral, cleansing the seat of our emotions, where then we can pull our Gaia energy in. So there's a lot of shifts going on. There's a lot of fury out there. People falling out and love. You all know that the holiday season is a time when people really fall out. So my plan is either spend it alone or spend it with someone you've never spent Christmas with. I, you know, I'm not saying avoid your families because they're important. But there's something about, there's a danger. Whoop, 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 whoop. There's like alarms going off because you're also, you're pulling everybody together as a family. And this trauma, DNA trauma that's been coming up all the time is going to come raging out again. So really, really be careful over Christmas and holidays or whatever you're celebrating about how you interact with family. Don't let fiery mercury, because the other thing about mercury is it's caught between a line of Uranus, which is your Gaia energy coming in, your consciousness, and Mars, all your molecules are being stretched, and the energy of those two is passing right into the center of the sun with mercury just there getting all fired up by Mars, and behind it you've got Jupiter pushing masses of energy with Saturn and Pluto and then over here you've got uh, Neptune the deepest 
deepest emotions being walloped in and you're going to be feeling all of these things coming in okay so you really do need to find a sort of level chill and don't let this mercury fire up and let your mouth run wild okay so just think about that i also need to say my pigeons yesterday very funny story we were talking about the sacral self-love and combining it with the heart and uh, sorry with the solar plexus the heart's in a couple of days i know uh, and actually yesterday when the pigeons came only one came just one lonely little pigeon he had all the seed and down the other end were all the pigeons kind of pecking at nothing on the ground and i thought that that was a really beautiful metaphor for <laughs> what was going on yesterday loneliness people being frustrated by their loneliness so know that these energies are changing but please do not let mercury fire you up and spoil things okay what's out people there'll be another one tomorrow i've been awake all night with all this regurgitating so see you tomorrow bye